Gigabyte has a set of five new motherboards shown here at PAX East 2016, including some X99 boards in preparation for the Broadwell E launch, sort of a refresh, and then some of the good old Z170 boards now branded as Z170X. Before we get to the specs on these boards and their target market price points and all of that, note that all of this content from PAX East 2016 is brought to you by CyberPower, who make the Fanebook laptop that we recently overclocked past 4 gigahertz. So a couple things here, the five boards in question, there's three in the X99 setup, and those are the X99 Design Air or Designer EX, as I'm going to call it, the X99 Phoenix SLI, X99 Ultra Gaming, and then there's two from Z170X chipset families, and that is the Z170X Designer and Z170X Ultra Gaming, part of Gigabyte's existing family for gaming motherboards. The surprise here at PAX East 2016 is these are actually unreleased right now. They're still engineering samples, so everything you see is unfinished and could change. But the main item on all these boards, or at least some of them, is the U2 connector. It effectively is a connector that provides the M.2 PCIe speed, and it's combined with the drive mounting flexibility of the old SATA drive. So that gives you a couple of things, but one of them is that you can have basically as many U2 drives as your motherboard has U.2 connectors. The U.2 connector makes physical drive location a lot easier because the drives actually resemble more closely the 2.5 inch SATA drives that we have now, except the interface looks less like typical SATA and more like SAS. Gigabyte showed us a few boards with the U.2 connectors and the first is an X99 board, the GAX99 Designer EX which introduces the designer label to the Gigabyte family. It is one of the two new ultra durable series boards and it's got an amp up audio with two of the new onboard U.2 slots. And you can see those sort of near the SATA E ports over on the side of the board. The X99 Designer EX has five full length PCIe slots. The first, second, and fourth are wired for by 16. The third slot is by four and the fifth is by eight or X8. The GAX99 Phoenix SLI board is part of the G1 gaming series and that is one of the brands of Gigabyte. And this board is similar in some ways to the Designer EX, the X99 board previously. It's got amp up audio as the previous board did. It has a single U.2 connector, not two of them, but just one. And it's in the same location as the previous board. The final X99 board is the X99 Ultra Gaming. And like the Phoenix, it's also in the G1 Gaming series. It's got only a couple small differences that are really noteworthy. And one is that the X99 Ultra Gaming doesn't have a wireless card in its e keyed M.2 slot. It's got one, it just doesn't include the card, so you have to buy that separately. The GA Z170X Designer is an ultra durable series board with many of the features we've already discussed, and it has amp up audio, it's got a single U.2 connector, it has an M keyed M.2 slot for SSDs. PCIe configuration is uh, simpler, it's more similar to Z170 boards. It's got one by 16 slot, one by eight, and one by four slots. The final board, is the Z170X Ultra Gaming, which falls a bit more sensibly into the G1 Gaming series. It doesn't have the amp up audio. So that is really all to know here from Gigabyte. The addition of U.2 is welcome in a couple of ways, but one of them is that the introduction of new storage devices does provide some options for higher uh, performance, like with Intel's Optane, which is coming hopefully sometime this year. So that is all for the Gigabyte boards. Patreon link to the post show video helps out directly. Hit the link in the description below for more information. Comments, as always, are welcome, and I'll see you all next time.